only reason why I'm actually out here right now is for you guys to show you guys this. As the Stratman would say, views on views. Peep this out, guys. Views on views, guys. I'm so sorry for the wind, but like this is beautiful. Okay, it's actually getting cold right now. See you guys inside. What's going on guys welcome back to the channel and my name is Solomon for those of you that are new to the channel please do not forget yeah to like subscribe and share if you have any questions any comments please drop it down in the comment section down below and I'll be glad to answer those comments guys how are you guys doing today I hope you guys are doing good I hope you guys are doing okay I'm actually really pumped today for some reasons I'm not sure of but anyways I'm actually pumped today today we're going to be talking about um student housing for international students so I've been getting messages uh about People wanting to like come to Canada to like school and they're actually finding it difficult to like find houses, like apartments where they can stay for the um, for the main time before they not actually get like used to the environment. So um I actually want to like help um people out there that actually want to actually come here and school. Now you can actually find these houses by yourself. There are places online that you can actually find by yourself without even paying anyone to actually help you out with searching. Like you can literally do this by yourself, and I'll be giving guys the ways, um, the, the ways, the websites to use. There's different um methods you can actually go through to actually get housing here, and um, also don't get me wrong, I can actually help you. But if you feel you can, you should be able to do it because I believe you guys should be able to do it on your own. If you can do it on your own, that would be very, very good for you guys because it will save you on cost. Literally, it would save you on cost. So. I would be um, giving you these informations now. If you have any other questions um, in regards to like the housing, like ask, let's assume like you've already gone online, you've tried to like um, search online for the housing, you didn't know how to go about it. You can still shoot me a DM and like ask me, okay, yeah, like please, I've gone through this method, gone through this um, process. What advice you, um, do you still have? What way do you think would be better for me? Enough talking, enough ranting from my end. Um, I will just actually get into the video. We'll just dive into the video and then start with the types of housing you can actually get for an international student. Let's go. So there are actually mainly two types of housing for international students, um, on campus housing and off campus housing. Those too. Now on campus housing, you know, um, we won't be able to like go like broad into it because obviously it's not a broad thing, it's literally simple, it's on campus housing, that means the school would provide housing for you and you have to pay for that, it's going to be like attached in your school fees, at times you can actually pay, pay for it separately, at times it comes in your school fees, you can actually um, check out the website for the school to actually get more information on, on campus housing, but I will try and give you some like tiny bits of information about that right now, now for off campus housing, now that is actually why. Now there are different um, types of housing for off-campus housing and um, different ways to actually apply for that housing. Which is also some information that I will give you right now. Now the only thing is um, I won't be able to like go deep into um, the various website or ways that I can actually find those houses right now. I might be doing that in some other videos but I would um, let you guys know when those um, come out. So for now let's actually start with the on-campus housing. Okay, so on campus housing, right? Now there are advantages um, of living on campus, such as, um, first of all, you're very, very close here yeah, to your classes. Also, you're very close to like the school amenities, like the library, the gym, and easy access to your professors, even though you can like call them, I guess. Um, also, you have 24 seven support um, for like the school, um, for things you need school-wise, like you, you have that support, like, available to you like almost like immediately now for the on-campus housing right which is obviously provided by the school as i've said before you can actually apply for that separately that means you like pay for it separately from your school fees or you can actually pay for it in your school fees now on campus housing there are some housing that will actually give you like a meal plan so you have to like pay for that also so like a meal plan for like um breakfast lunch and, and dinner or just breakfast and lunch or just dinner depending on on um the type that they actually have provided by the school so now you just have to get like digging like 
get some more information from the school now i may not be giving like some full inf information like i may not have like all the full information so that's what i'm saying that you should actually go and check out the school's website and see what plans they have for um the on-campus housing it's that simple you know what yeah in this life yeah you have to enjoy yourself sometimes you get me yeah So now let's talk about off-campus housing, right? Off-campus housing is a situation whereby you off the lights to the campus. So it's called off-campus housing. Jokes. That was all bad jokes from my end here. Yeah. Anyways, so now off-campus housing, it's more like um, you're living outside of campus. Um, so there are advantages to it and then there are disadvantages to it. I'm, I might not highlight like all the advantages and all the disadvantages, but I'll just give you like tips of a little bit of what i know now advantages of off, of off campus yeah oh my god what am i saying advantages of off campus housing is first of all you have like varieties of housing to like choose from you have apartments like there are different sizes you have buildings you have townhouses you have normal houses like there are different houses that you have and then you have like ease of access to um different different restaurant and everything now the disadvantages um on the other hand is like you're not that close to school um you might have to like commute from from your house to school the commute might be a little bit much but i believe that like you should be able to handle it another disadvantage for off-campus housing is you have to cook is that you have to cook or you have to go and buy food outside if you can buy food outside i'm sure spending money now but on campus housing bro the food is being provided to you like it's, it's been like paid for all, all, already but like you just go and then you get the food that's how it is but for off-campus housing you have to now like start thinking what am i gonna eat today should i go and buy food if i go and buy food i will waste money if i don't go and buy food i will starve okay let me cook where do i get things to cook now you then have to like commute to the place where you have to like buy the ingredients you need to cook and on and on and on and on like it's kind of stressful now a big thing about off-campus housing is your budget. Your budget determines how much comfortable you are, determines the type of housing you will be able to get. Now there are different types of housing and there are different ways to actually like get the housing. Now you can actually get uh, a housing by signing a lease, like um, a full lease for like a year or something, or you can actually go with a sublet. Now, on my end, I would advise for for a student, for an international student who is coming, I would say a sublet is actually the the best option for you right now because a sublet is like you are renting from someone who already signed a lease. So, the person is not going to be living there; they are going to be going back to their like their, their like country for like a few months, for like four or five months. So, you are just going to be like be occupying that space. Now, subletting is cheaper in some cases. Some people decide to like actually um, increase the rent for subletting. I'm not sure why, but on a normal day, subletting is cheaper. Now that helps you to like afford a place that you could normally not afford. Now, um, for for an, as an international student, as I've said before, I would advise you subletting for like four to like five months, and then you then have like the opportunity to then either find another place, or if the person hasn't come back, you can then continue living there. That makes sense. The only thing I do not like about subletting is I have to be moving every couple of months, like four, five months. I have to be moving every single time. Now, the only way I'm suggesting uh, a sublet is because you're just coming into the country, right? You can use that like three, four months or five months to like familiarize yourself with the environment and see how the place works for you. Are we like, are we flowing here? Yeah? Okay, I'm sure you guys are actually like wondering, okay, so how can we get these apartments? Um, where can we get them from? So now I'll just um give you like um, a few couple like websites where you can actually find um this housing, where you can find a place to actually rent. Um now the, the reason why I'm doing this as I've said before is so that you guys can do this by yourself so you do not have to pay someone to help you out. You get me? Now the first place um I would say you, you should check out is Facebook marketplace that is a very huge place like you would find so many houses for rent so many sublets like it's very it's 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 much another one is um 
Padma. Apparently, um, I haven't used Padma before, but like I've, I, I've, I've kind of browsed through the website to see how easy it is for like people to actually like, understand the website and use the website. You can actually check that out. Another thing you can check out is um, Kijiji, Kijiji.com. Now, Kijiji is um, is like Craigslist for Canada, but even though Craigslist also has their own website for Canada. It's just it's, it's just like a, a place where you buy and sell things where so people also go on that like market their houses that like it's for sale or don't want to rent it out or they want to actually sublet it. So you can actually use Kijiji also. Um also well you, you can use Craigslist also as I've like I didn't say that before, but like you can use Craigslist. Now those are like the tiny places that they can use. Oh um there's this one rentals.ca you can also try to use that out now those are like the few places you can actually check out to see um houses that are for rent that you can pick up or um sublet now my best advice for you would try and like, i'll say like go with um facebook marketplace that place is very very helpful now i, I might still be doing like um, a a deep dive like uh, ex explaining these websites to you guys um so i would be telling you guys how easy it is to use um those websites how to easily find um the places online i might be trying to do that for you guys uh, but uh, first of all i'll have to figure out um the basics of how i can like you know sh share my screen and do some other techy stuff with you guys um anyways that being said, let's move to the next type of off-campus housing. Another sip. Cheers to you guys. The next type of um, off-campus housing we are going to be looking at is homestay. Homestay is more like you're living with a family. So they're called the host. So um, the host family. So they're going to be hosting you. So it's like they're, they'll be like treating you like their own child. So you're going to be staying in their place while you're schooling. Now, there are different websites where you can actually find like um, the homestay. I know some um, some of you will be thinking like, okay, like this may be kind of risky, but um, the host family, like the people that will be actually keeping you um, at their place, they'll be allowing you to like stay at their place, they'll be feeding you. Those people are, I think they should be actually be, be verified by the government or by the website that is actually um, offering that service. Now, there are different websites that I'll be giving to you. We will be checking them out later on like in some other videos but not in this video but i'll just like highlight those websites for you and the first one let me just quickly check it out um it's um canadahomestaynetwork.ca um that's the first one we won't be diving into those those websites right now but i'll try my best to see how much like information i, I can give you like down the line about those websites and that type of housing specific now the second website is um let me see it so it's called u the d services.ca it's it's a very weird name but i'll try and see how i can like put it up on the screen for you guys to like see it um normally it's 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 called yes canada like that's the the name of the website but like they just give their give their website a, a, a very odd name from their services but anyways um those are like the two main um website that I know about for like homestay so if you're interested in like applying for a homestay that means you're going to be staying with um, a specific family they will be treating you well I believe um, I haven't done that before I haven't had the opportunity to do that before but I believe they will like treat you well and also they actually do feed you so they actually have plans um, you, you can actually um, get breakfast lunch and dinner from them you can just get breakfast and lunch or just lunch or just lunch and dinner or just dinner so they have different like um feeding options for you so you you do have to pick that obviously through that website now i just hope like this information is like not too much for you guys i'm just trying to see how i can actually help you guys out um by saving you costs so that you can actually do these things by yourself you don't have to pay someone who may then pr probably just dupe you or um if you believe that you you are not going to be able to still do it you can actually shoot me a dm as i've said before send me a dm um and then we can actually talk about that um also if you're going to be doing this by yourself and you feel you're stuck somewhere or you, or you need help or you need advice on some things you can still shoot me a dm and i got you i got you for you guys 
um anyways guys um i think i would have to be ending the video here for today if you guys do like this type of content um please drop a comment in the comment section down below anyway guys i'll be seeing you guys in the next video and as always guys stay safe